guys, it's Rachel. Welcome back to my channel. So today I just decided I was going to vlog for you guys because today is going to be a fun Saturday. So every Saturday is fun, of course, because it's the weekend, but my mom and I are going to go to breakfast and we are also going to go to a botanical gardens in our area and they have a really cool exhibit right now where they make like statues and sculptures out of stuff that has washed up from sea. And I thought it would be really cool to show you guys because honestly, I'm so excited. So I thought it would be fun to take you guys to. And yeah, so that is what we're doing today. And I just decided it would be a good day to vlog. So that is exactly what I'm going to do. This top from Free People that I got in Raleigh, if you guys watch those videos, I love it so much. I, yes, 10 out of 10. But anyway. So I will catch up with you guys when I am about to head out. <laughs> Mom, that's such a good self. <laughs> <laughs> so we got our breakfast. We got veggie omelets. Mom didn't get cheese on hers, but we're ready to chow down. Yum, yum. Also, your necklace is really pretty. Thank you. I, I think I got it at Marshalls. It really? matches my butterfly shorts. Hello, Uncle Pally. Who's Robert? Can I help you today? Hello, um, can I have a grande caramel macchiato iced? Sure. And then also a blueberry scone warmed up. A blueberry scone warmed up? Yes. So I just asked my mom, um, what is a song? I feel like everybody has that song they just cannot stand. I definitely have one. Um, Emma asked me this question when she was here. Um, because there was a ringtone that kept playing in back of us in H&M and she's like if that plays one more time um, But yeah, she was like what is your least favorite song? And I had to like think about it But I definitely have an answer it like came to me. and I was like that is my least favorite song But mom said what did you say <laughs> that 69 song from Ariana Grande? That's literally <laughs> What she said oh. <laughs> How about, What is your somebody that I used to know by goatee? I hate that song. And and the reason I don't like that song is because in middle school it was really popular and number one, um, it was just really overplayed and number two, the guy had like a thing with like, do you, you know, it wasn't, looking back I thought it was like serious but like, you know, it was middle school. <laughs> um, he, when we stopped being like friends, he sent me a link to that song one night. I'm like, really? And it sent me a link to that. He also linked me to like Maroon 5 one time. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, but um, yes. Mm. He linked me to Payphone by Maroon 5, but something, I can still listen to that song. That one's like a nice nostalgic summer song. But somebody that I used to know, uh, no. Uh-uh. Cancel it. Do not play it in front of me. I just, no. Mm -mm. Not my jam. One more thing. <clears throat> Why do all radio stations go on commercial break at the same time without fail? Listen. Got a good point. I've been Wait, what is that? that is not on radio. <laughs> oh, well, Literally, what on. is up with that? Like, that's always made me so curious. Like. All the pop stations go on commercial break at the same time. Like, wouldn't they alternate so they get more traffic? I don't know. I don't know. That's just a question I have and it's just an observation. But what is up with that? This is going to be fun. Washed ashore. That's what it's called. I'm bringing my hair clip because it might get a little toasty for me to have my hair down. Also, if you have thick hair, these claw clips are the only thing that work <laughs> for clips. Something. So this is all water bottles from the shore and they made it into a jellyfish. Let's go read. Huh. Yes. Nylon rope water bottles, bottle caps, boys, buoys. <laughs> I can't. What is that? I said boys. Oh my lord. <laughs> buoys and stitched water <laughs> bottle bottoms. Oh my gosh. This one is flip flop fish and you can see like soles of shoes, bird peck marks, and like bite marks from like sea creatures. Look at this. Wow. That's so cool. Wow. Wow. Dang. 
So in this area, you can catch um, a boat. And when I was a kid, um, a snake jumped out and from like one of the rocks, we were sitting on a bench waiting for the boat. Yeah, fun memories. We have a lot of memories at this garden. We're in water lilies right now. There's one. Pretty, pretty. Very pretty. Yeah. So pretty. It's beautiful. These bracelets help save the ocean. So, I got some key lime jam. We decided to go in the gift shop because we decided if we walked, um, we were gonna get lost. So we're waiting for the tram. Um, so we killed some time and went in the gift shop. So yeah, um, that is what we're doing. Also, they don't serve bottled water here, which, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> which I totally, which I totally respect because they're trying to cut down on plastic waste. Um, so they don't, but I got um, white peach ginger bubbly and they have recycling cans all over the place, so that's great. Also, I must be getting really good at vlogging in public because like three people just passed me. So, not stopping me. Look at the dragonfly. So cool. Beautiful, yes. Yes, we're on the train now. We're waiting for it to take off. It's so very pleasant this way though. Yeah, it's not bad in the shade. Um, also, this drink I would rate a 5 out of 10. Um, the other bubbly drinks I've had, 0 out of 10, but this one's a 5. I, I give her a pass. We're about 65 feet above sea level and get a nice panoramic bird's eye view of the garden all around. Oh my gosh, so pretty. Kind of look to the right. The wildflower meadow is also looking really nice. This section of it is in full So bloom. pretty. The native plant. Oh my gosh, this is a penguin. Oh. Wow, it's really big. They have, it says igloo from like a cooler. Golf balls. Lighters, water bottles, golf balls, buoys. Refrigerator <laughs> door. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Guys, look at the shark. Look at all the water bottles. Look at the... Oh my gosh. Look at the golf ball shoes. Oh! Wow. So, just little rant. Look inside the mouth with all the, like, the toys and the toothbrush. And I guess those are oh goggles or, or... Yeah. Huh. Wow. This is really eye-opening. Wow. Definitely eye-opening. Humpback whale. And that's about how big it would be, do you think, in real life? They said some of them are life-size, maybe. Um, I bet the shark is very cool. I bet this is. Wow. It's so nifty. It's so cool. This is almost like a bone from somebody. Right? Oh my god, that's weird. Look at the, the fork. I wonder what these are. I don't know. Hmm. Maybe a paddle or something Maybe, of some sort. Yeah. What are you thinking? <laughs> Look how pretty. So, I see some avid photographers here. Yes. Yeah. This is the main attraction right here, if you ask me. Who thought it was a good idea for me to wear a full face of makeup and jeans? Me, this morning, trying to, you know, oh, we'll take pictures. Me, in 90 degree heat. That tree has got, to, I'm gonna go look at that tree. That's really cool. I've never noticed that tree yet. She loves looking at trees and looking how old they are. There's such a nice breeze under this tree. <laughs> Thanks, tree. That's right. That's my trees are so amazing. They're 
They're really pretty too. And they give us oxygen, so thanks trees. Mm -hmm. They're really pretty. It's a nice breeze right here, so we're it like... Is kind of, it is kind of pleasant right here. If I had a chair, <laughs> hammock. <laughs> there's a group of trees over here. I don't want to film other people, but like there's a family in there. They look like they're having like a picnic or something. That's a good place too. This is so pretty. This is my jam. The wildflowers. Look at them. Yeah, the butterflies love these too. In all their glory. This is like my aesthetic right here. So last Mother's Day? Was it last Mother's Day? Yeah, it sure was. Um, we came and <laughs> seesawed. Yes. Teeter-totter. Is this a seesaw or a teeter-totter? Well, is that just I two different names? On that. I guess it's called that. <laughs> <laughs> should we get on? I don't know if I should or not. I'm thinking I should not. I don't know why. Do it. Um, <laughs> girl, if I kill myself. Oh. <laughs> Honestly. Well, I can't even get oh, on. Oh, wait, hold on. Let me. <laughs> I don't know if I should get on here. I would. No, I I'm not going to. <laughs> <laughs> we are headed to the car and we're gonna go get probably Sonic. I honestly want water, um, but we I, might get like a slushy or something. Uh, so it was fun. Yes, it was. Ladies and gentlemen, that was beautiful. It was. And I look like a mess. Like <laughs> the beginning of this, when I was like all put together, now I'm like. <laughs> Okay. Well, we're like a melted popsicle now, but it was worth it. Yes, it was. It was really fun. Look, there's a praying mantis. It's a baby. So we've decided we're going to go to cookout, and I'm going to get a cheer wine and water, most importantly. And we're going to go get a red, white, and blue slushy for my mom. Um, mm -hmm. So yeah, that's what we're going to do. Cheer wine is literally so underrated. It's very rare that you find it like in Virginia cookout has it but um, North Carolina when we were there they had it everywhere so it's manufactured in North Carolina so I'm happy when I can get it okay the weird angle is just gonna have to work um, I'm sitting here I'm eating some Arby's and I thought you know I feel like vlogging so I just wanted to talk to you guys for a minute. Um, it's nothing bad. I know whenever somebody says that, you're like, oh no. But it's not bad, I promise. It's just me contemplating life. So, um, I don't know. I was thinking about this last night in the shower. And you know how it is in the shower. You just, you know, get in deep thought sometimes. Um, because it's like a quiet place and you're just like by yourself and you get to think. So. My point of that is, I'm going to be a senior this year in college, which is crazy to say. But I am studying communications, if you guys don't know. And lately, really my whole life, I have had this passion for something that I feel like in the future I'm going to have no choice but to meet. So, um, I love the communication field. You can do so much in communications. But there's another field where I feel is calling my name. And I'm gonna graduate and do my thing now with communications, see where it takes me, and then right now in my heart, I don't think when I graduate from college next year, um, I'm gonna be done with school. And you know, that could change. This is me just feeling very passionate about something right now and wanting to be in that field. So, ever since I can remember, I have 
been fascinated with weather. And I always said, well, in elementary school, I was like, oh, I'm going to be a veterinarian because all I knew was my love for animals. But as I grew up, I have always been fascinated with weather. And I don't know. I just feel like I would love to be a meteorologist. And having a degree in communications can be beneficial to that because if you're a news reporter, that's very helpful. But um, I know a lot about weather, mainly severe weather, like tornadoes or um, thunderstorms. But I want to know more than I know. I want to be able to look at a map by myself and know what to expect with the weather. The weather is something that's always changing and I don't know, I've always been so beyond fascinated with it and I don't know, I just feel like I could really shine in that field and um, so some of my earliest memories with weather, um, so when I was, I guess, I'd say middle school, um, every summer day I would go over to my grandma's and she would feed my inspiration and my passions, meaning she would play along with me. Um, you know, as a kid, you always have like, you know, imagination, but I remember so clearly, um, drawing up my own list of hurricane names and my grandma had gotten me like this huge like educational map um that we had like in the playroom and I would stand there and act like I was a meteorologist reporting the weather to her talking about like the hurricanes and I was very specific like I remember like I'd say like here's the projected path and like I've always just been so fascinated I remember when the Joplin tornado hit in 2011 and that particular severe weather outbreak was headed towards my area and I remember I would watch the weather channel for fun okay like that was me I would watch it for fun and I could just sit and watch it for hours and I remember when that cell came, my mom and I like running downstairs because my area did end up getting a tornado warning much later that night. And we sat in the pantry and the other night, I guess I'm talking about this because <laughs> the other night um, we had some tornado warnings go off and I... I don't want to say I was fascinated, but it was so interesting to listen to the news. I'm not saying that, okay, tornadoes are fascinating, but they're not, they're such a precautionary measure that needs to be taken. Um, one of my favorite movies of all time is Twister. Um, I can sit and watch videos for hours on tornadoes and thunderstorms and just the atmosphere but the other night we did not get a tornado but we had many tornado warnings but there was a tornado that touched down about I'd say an hour from here maybe 45 minutes an area I'm very familiar with um so yeah that was scary but in those moments all I want to do is know more like I just want to know more I love when they talk about like the hook and like they zoom in on radar and you can like see you know what's going on and I love understanding that kind of stuff um so yeah a couple years ago maybe four years ago now we actually had a tornado hit our city and it was very, very sad. And 
I remember it very clearly. Bobby, my best friend, my mom and I were out at a mall shopping for prom dresses. And we knew the weather was going to be bad, but we thought it was going to be a thunderstorm. It obviously was, but we didn't know it was going to be severe. They didn't say it was going to be severe. Like, they just said, oh, like a isolated thunderstorm here and there. We went to this mall, and we were about done with our shopping trip. And all of a sudden, we were sitting downstairs in, like, this food area. We had just gotten some cookies to share. And everybody's alert went off at once. And everybody stopped in their tracks, stared at each other like, what in the world? We had gotten a tornado warning. And it did not hit the area I was in, but it did hit my city. And it was very eye-opening. My mom and I drove the exact path of the tornado like the week following we we're like we want to see for ourselves like what path this tornado has taken um and i looked at the radar and it literally went over my house it's fascinating to me how it can hit a house across the street but leave one house a hundred feet untouched that stuff fascinates me and I want to know more about it and I want to know more about it to save lives you know we're we're a society with moving forward in technology and I have a passion for you know helping people in that realm like I would love to be able to give people more warnings or something like that in the future and I'm sure that with like I said, with technology, that's going to happen. But a part of me just wants to be so part of that journey. So I don't know. Um, I'm talking out loud right now. I share my life with you guys. And I don't know. I've just been feeling that way recently. I just have such a passion for weather and I feel like not many people know that about me like I feel like I've mentioned it like maybe here and there but the passion is there weather severe storms or it's like something I could talk about for hours I ha I knew somebody um, in freshman year of college and he was taking a meteorology class he had no idea um, you know about some things I was like I can help you <laughs> and so that that right there says something because I don't like schoolwork but the drive I have for atmospheric sciences is something special and something that drives me so yeah that's my little rant not rant I guess just expressing how I feel you know in the future you guys honestly might see a video I'm going back to school and you might not. <laughs> so, <laughs> you guys will see with me. And I'm very excited to see, you know, where life takes me. And what I decide to do. You know, like I said, I might, it's possible that I might not want to, like, if I'm out of school, and I get that touch of, like, not having any schoolwork and not feeling like that burden. And I don't want to say burden, but, like, there's a lot that goes into college, um, you know, money-wise and time-wise. And it's, it's a lot. College is a lot. I might get that touch of feeling free from that, and I'm like, bye. I have my degree. Bye. And never turn back but I might you know graduate and be like you know what I still want to do this so I've been talking about this for 15 minutes so I'm gonna go I'm gonna close out this vlog and yeah thank you guys for letting me talk about it um like I said I just I love sharing my life with you guys and you guys are truly my friends 
and I feel like I can tell you guys anything and share my life with you guys and you guys like want to hear it so thank you for that I really do appreciate you for that and so yeah um, I had a great time today seeing those sculptures it was very eye-opening to me like even if you throw or leave something on the beach and it gets washed into the ocean there's so much hurt that can go into that with sea life and the well-being of our ocean and it was just really really fascinating to me to see all those exhibits today it was very eye-opening and I always have my refillable water I do drink it out of plastic but I try my best to recycle but I always try and use my reusable but there's always improvement you know so anyways guys um, I love you guys so much and thank you for allowing me to just sit here and talk to you guys this is honestly the way I wanted to close out the vlog I was like I feel like this vlog was short like what can I do and then like I came upstairs and I was like you know what I just feel like talking so since you guys are my friends that's you just got my you know evening dissertation on my love for weather but with all that being said I hope this video entertained you in some way and I sincerely hope I see you yes you in the next one bye guys